Shoo, great day for baseball and a nice 2-1 victory for the Loons. How nice is it to get back on the winning track? Yeah, we've had a couple of close games here with Kane County. Uh, neither ball club has put up a lot of hits or a lot of runs. And we lost a tough ball game yesterday, and uh, it was nice to come back. And we got a couple runs early and made them hold up. Great relief pitching today from Edington and Garcia. And Gomez gave us an outstanding start. Really happy with our pitching staff today. Let's talk about Gomez, probably the best start he's had all season long. What was different about this start versus his past outings? Well, he stayed a little bit more in control of himself. He has not tried to do too much. He's mixed in his curveball, used his change up. His mechanics have been strong. Um, oftentimes, Gustavo is the type of pitcher that gets one or two things that go wrong against him, and then he tries to do too much, tries to overthrow the ball and overpower the ball, and uh, that's not going to work for him. He kept the ball down well today, mixed these pitches, and unfortunately had to come out with a little uh, – he's got a nail that's kind of biting in, I guess you could say, into his finger there and causing a little blister-type action, but uh, he should be okay for his next start. He's, he's working that out in the training room. Is that something that – generated during the start today or is it a sign that he's been battling with for a few days he's had it he had it after his last start in fact okay long season there's going to be a lot of ups and downs streaking in both directions but how big is it to get this win to keep this losing streak from extending beyond three games well a win is a win no matter when you get it and it's always nice when you only score two that you can win a ball game uh, yesterday we scored two and lost so uh, we're happy with the win today uh, i like the enthusiasm I like the effort, the hard work that the ball club is putting in. We're not swinging the bats as well as we're capable of, and a lot of guys are feeling those growing pains here in the Midwest League. Uh, teams are starting to figure out some of your weaknesses, and now it's time that uh, we start making some adjustments. One of the characteristics of the team this season has been a very strong bullpen. Eric Edington and Yumi Garcia gave the team great performances, specifically Eric coming in in a jam uh, in the middle of the game and ended up facing seven batters, got all seven out, worked really efficiently. What has made him so effective this season? Well, he was well rested today. He had about four days off. The last outing that he pitched in was up in Burlington, and he came in with a big lead, and it was a little different guy today. He saw that there was a, a game was right on the line when he entered. But this guy's, uh, this guy's a good pitcher. Uh, this guy's got a live fastball. He throws his breaking stuff, change up over the plate, and he kept the ball down well. And a lot of times left-handers rely on uh, finesse and off-speed pitches, but this guy relies on power. He can throw the ball by people, and he was in the strike zone today. Uh, good outing for him. And another trend this season for the Loons that they've won a lot of close ball games, a lot of one-run ball games. What is it about the character of this squad that allows them to be successful in close games? Well, I think we're going to have to win a lot of close ones, uh, Jared, because we're going to be in a lot of them. I don't think we're going to be scoring a ton of runs every night out. But uh, we've talked about it when the season started, that the small little things that we do, try to, try to execute, uh, try to make the other club earn what they get and not give anything to them. And, you know, situational hitting is so big that when you get opportunities to score or to move runners over or to execute something on the basis, um, you know, we did some good things today early in the ball games. James Baldwin got a couple of stolen bases, and then we had another runner in motion, and Devin Shines hit a base hit to right field and got Winker to third, and then their shortstop made an error on the ball. We got another run in, so um, happy with the win today, but, uh, you know, we got to come back tomorrow with another early game. We don't even have 24 or four hours to, uh, to be happy with this one. Well, yeah, the rubber match of the series tomorrow is a 10.30 a.m. game. From a player's perspective, what adjustments do they need to make to get ready for a game that's really not a part of their normal routine? Well, you've got to come ready to play. If you come with a mindset that, hey, I'm going to play the game and I'm not going to worry about what time it starts, you just come out and play. It's going to be noisy. There's going to be a lot of kids here. Uh, hopefully it's a sunshiny day. It'll make everything a little bit brighter and happier. And uh, we've got a chance to win a series here. That's kind of our goal. We go into a, uh, a series with the club. Our goal is to try to win the series. And uh, if we happen to win the first two, we try to sweep. And if we, try to, if we lose the first two, we're trying to avoid a sweep. So uh, no matter the time, we don't talk about it. We just put on the board what time to show up and what we're going to do. And hopefully we play uh, eight and a half innings again tomorrow. And finally, Shu, uh, probably SpongeBob SquarePants up on the big screen a lot tomorrow with all the school kids there. Growing up, what was your favorite cartoon? <laughs> I had some cartoons I liked, but I really, uh, it's a kind of a 
quick question that definitely wasn't SpongeBob uh, because it was way, way after my time. But uh, I didn't really uh, have anything favorite, I guess. I just watched them all on Saturday morning, and then it was time to go out and either, either uh, hit, shoot, or punt, whatever the season was. That's what I did after the cartoons were over. Well, there you have the weekend routine for John Shoemaker, the manager of the Great Lakes Loons. The Loons with the win today, 2-1 to one the final. The rubber match of the series at 10.35 tomorrow. Our Osmendio Zorio will get the ball for the Loons against the Cougars. Brad, back to you.